Good Tuesday morning to you and happy 4th of July. I'm meteorologist Matt Jones. We are looking at a hot and humid day today. So typical July 4th weather across the Aeroclitex. Storms are also possible as we head into the afternoon. It's going to stay hot and muggy over the next several days. And then we do have the potential of an increasing severe risk later in the week. We'll talk more about that here in just a few minutes. Now, speaking of a severe risk, we actually do have a marginal threat out there for this afternoon, basically across the northern half of the Aeroclitex. That's that green color that you see. It's just a one out of five on the scale so the the threat is not very high but like we saw yesterday and the day before one or two of these storms could become severe producing some large hail and some damaging winds so if you're heading to the lake today or doing anything outdoors for the fourth of july just keep an eye to the sky but i think by midday still mainly dry hot and humid temperature around 90 degrees by that time as we head towards the afternoon we will see those storm chances back in our forecast so 93 with again about a 30 to 40 percent chance of rain today but the good news is by fireworks time we should begin to clear out those storms it's going to be a warm and muggy evening though by the time fireworks go off with temperatures into the mid 80s here's a look at future track as we take you through the rest of the morning into the midday hours still looking quiet Notice, though, by about 1 p.m., we could begin to see some storms firing up right along that I-20 corridor, and those storm chances will be increasing as we head through the afternoon. So scattered in nature, not everyone is going to get the rain today, but if you get underneath one of these, it could produce some pretty heavy rain and also the potential for a little bit of hail and wind. And then we get into the evening hours. You can see by 9 p.m. that storm threat quickly diminishes, and so we're looking at some quiet conditions again tonight. Now, looking ahead to tomorrow, we kind of repeat that process all over again, starting off the day quiet. We'll see the clouds build, and that will lead to some scatter storms as we head towards Wednesday afternoon. And we're kind of locked into that daily storm pattern for the rest of the week. So here's today's planner, 79 by 8 a.m., 88 at noon. And then we'll reach the low 90s as we head towards the afternoon with, again, spotty storm chances anywhere from noon all the way through the early evening hours. But it does look like we're going to quiet things down overnight tonight. 93 today, Shreveport, 95 in Natchitoches, Cushada, 94, Texarkana at 92. And then as you get to the north and west, especially northwest of I-30, high temperatures in the upper 80s. But with all the humidity, it's still going to feel pretty uncomfortable before those storms arrive today. That heat index could be as high as around 105 across parts of the Arklatex. And it's going to stay very muggy for the next several days. In fact, it's going to just be oppressive all the way through the seven-day forecast. So very typical July conditions here in the Arklatex. It's a very um, normal to see this type of humidity. 93 for today with again scatter storms. Those storm chances will stay in our forecast for Wednesday and Thursday. And then looking ahead to the weekend, some slightly drier air will move in. So we're going to lower that rain chance. Still a few storms around Saturday into Sunday, but most of the Arklatex looking dry. And as a result, it will be heating up again with high temperatures back in the mid to even upper 90s by Sunday.